I've been walking, doing some uh, walking with some candidates in Denver, and I'm hearing a lot of people, a lot of parents are very concerned about education, and they're also concerned about illegal immigration and how some of their concerns are my children are not getting the education they should be because my their teachers are spending a lot of time teaching kids to speak English. So this, this all wraps up. In yeah, the as, I've said, as I've said many times, it is almost impossible to talk about just about any subject dealing with public policy, education, health care, prisons, just society in general, I mean our culture, without talking about immigration. But there are other things that a governor needs to do with regard to education. I think one of the things we have to recognize is that the industrial model school system that we presently have is just that, an industrial model for an industrial age. Big building, here comes kids, here comes adults, we meet for a certain number of time, hoping education occurs in that environment, and the product is supposed to be an educated kid coming out of the system, you know, and about 50% fall off the assembly line, don't make it ever through, and especially in Denver. Uh, that's gotta change. Somebody's got to actually encourage the idea that the system itself has got to really begin to change dramatically, internally, structurally. Mm -hmm. The old industrial model worked for an industrial model society. We're way past that. And is that another issue where you see you would be able to work also with other states? Of course. You have, I mean, a governor, especially a governor in Colorado, is quite limited in what they're actually able to do unilaterally. You have to be a strong personality frankly, to get anything done. <laughs> and and uh, it, it is leadership. It takes leadership more than it does the ability to sign executive orders to actually change things in the state. But somebody's got to provide that. Mm -hmm. And if I have to go to the people and get them, entice them, ask them, beg them to support these reforms, I will do it. We will do it on the ballot through constitutional amendments that either I'll put on if I have to go out and you know hire people to, to get the signatures and get it on the ballot. I don't care. I'm going to bring these reform issues to the legislature, and if we can't get them to go along with it, understand the benefits, I'm going to try to convince the people of the state of Colorado of what we can accomplish, what we can do if we don't let bureaucracy stand in our way. That's a big if. But I'm willing to try. <laughs>